All right, so somewhere in this box, I have two boxes, there's another box over there. But I have a fish that many of you have never seen before in an unboxing, I can guarantee it. And many of you may have never seen this fish ever. I am really excited about this. Hopefully they'll do all right. Let's just get right into it. All right, so here we have box number one. Here we have box number two. We're gonna start with the smaller of the two boxes here. Now some of you already know what this fish is gonna be. And there's obviously a lot of other fish in here too. So lots of cool fish in here, but one in particular, I'm really excited. Now, I'm already seeing one dead fish in here. This is not good. These are gonna be, you might recover though. These are gonna be some koi angel fish. Uh, let's see where they at. Here they are. These are supposed to be like a, a premium select rainbow fish. Not rainbow, angel fish. I, I'm so used to buying rainbows that it's just the first thing I say. I just bought a couple because I wanted to see if they were really like a premium koi. So there's a, this guy's kind of struggling. It's pretty cold. So I'm gonna get these guys floating right away and warm them up. All right, next up, what are we gonna get here? There's only uh, three bags in this box, I guess. All right. Oh man, we got to the good fish next, the one I'm talking about. Here we have some skunk Corridoras, Corridoras arcuatus. First time bringing these guys in, came in huge. Really good size on these. Again, all these bags are pretty cold, so we're gonna have to let them temperature acclimate for a while. And this fish right here, I'm gonna make you guys wait till the end. So, tough luck. We're gonna get right into the second box here. All right, so we got two heat packs, very cold. They're wet, not a good sign. Ooh, man, I see some amazing looking guppies in here, folks. Set that knife down so no one gets hurt. But uh, I want to pull these guppies out. These are Dumbo Ear White Male Guppies. Of course, it's really hard to see them in the bag there. We'll get a look at them later, obviously. Oh, these guys are awesome. So, if you've been following me for a while, you know I brought in some regular Snow White. Uh, these are like the Dumbo Ear version of the white guppies that I had, and they look awesome. Some more Dumbo guppies in here. And th these are just gonna be kind of a, they're called, they call them green, but more males. Look really good. Now they say green, but they, there's a lot of red in this bag. But honestly, guppies are pretty awesome. You can't really go wrong. More Dumbo ear. Now I've never ordered guppies from this place before, so hopefully they do well for me. I'm pretty excited to try them out. And here we got the Brilliant Rasboras. Um, not what I was expecting. There's a couple different names for these. Um, you know, a couple different common names. So never really know what you're gonna get, but they're pretty cool. They got the uh, red tails. Huge, Re came in really big. So here we have the Madagascar rainbow fish, the Bodacea Gaea. Uh, everyone's looking alive. Again, this one's not as cold as the last box, but still, I need to find my temperature gun. I, I think I lost it out in my pond. I haven't seen it in forever. I think it's just time to order a new one. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? This is a pretty big bag. Oh, more German Rams, and these guys are big. Look at this. German Blue Rams, restocking these guys. They've been selling really well on the website. I don't know if I have them too cheap or what, but I'm not gonna raise the prices on them. But they have been doing really well on the website, so I guess, uh, I guess that's a good thing, right? Uh, oh, more Brilliant Rasboras. Apparently, I got a lot of these guys. There's the second bag. Ooh, here we go. Now, they're calling this a golden, but this is the Goiter River Rainbow Fish. And look at the size of these guys. I just can't believe how much bigger they're coming out of wholesalers this year than in the past. There we go. Everyone looking alive and healthy. I'm pretty sure only Rainbow Fish are left. Can I move this box over here a little bit more? It's, uh, it's sitting on my red wiggler worms which you guys will see a video on those coming out pretty soon here we have no label uh, mystery rainbow fish probably gonna have to wait for these ones to color up no label on it they're just uh, oh this is the blahari 
rainbow fish. I can see there's one right here that's got a little red to them. So this is the Blaheri rainbow fish. Don't worry, we only got a couple more bags to go. Uh, oh, apparently I ordered a lot of these because here's another bag of German blue rams. Uh, Ten in each bag, I guess. Now, I think we only have one left, and of course they are rainbow fish. Which ones do we have here? Okay, this is the uh, other bag. So here, this one is labeled. I was right. They are the Blaheri. And here we are, folks. Something you have never seen in an unboxing. I guarantee it. I absolutely guarantee it. This is a freshwater blenny fish. Now, they claim it to be freshwater. Uh, I don't know if that's true, but we're going to find out. And if it is, in fact, true, I'm going to try to bring in a lot more of these guys. I think we might have one that's uh, kind of struggling. This bag is really, really cold. I have a tank specifically for these guys. So I'm just going to drop them in the bag in that tank right now and let them start warming up. So this is the tank they're gonna be going in. We got sand in there for them, some shells. There's very little information, almost no information on these guys online and just look at them. Holy smokes, these are awesome. All right, I'm gonna let them float, warm up, and I'll be back for the release. So I have talked to the wholesaler about these guys and they are keeping them in fresh water. Now it is Florida, so it's gonna be a little bit higher pH, a little harder water. We have shells in there. This is also a high pH, well, higher pH sand. So hopefully they will do all right. Of course, we just do the plop and drop as always with most fish that are shipped in here. So after talking to the wholesaler and getting some more information on this fish, Basically, what they're telling me is that as adults, they live in fresh water, but in order to spawn, they have to spawn in salt water. So the larva goes through the stage of salt to brackish and then eventually to fresh, kind of like the Amano shrimp, right? And so they're keeping all of their adults, like I said, in fresh water. And it looks like I'm already going to have to provide more hiding places for these guys because they're all gonna bunch up under there. But I'm not gonna stress them out too much by shoving this camera in their face. So I'm gonna let them kind of acclimate and get used to this new uh, tank. And then I'll check back in with them. Now I'm not gonna film uh, the plop and drop on all these fish because for, just for the safety of the fish and because I'm an idiot. It gets to be kind of a pain moving tripods around, um, being concerned about you know getting the fish on camera versus you know the actual welfare of the fish. So I just don't film plop and drops anymore. So once everything's in their tank, I'll check back in with you. So just to get you caught up to speed, it is actually the next day. Everything is nice and settled in. Got to flip these lights on though. Oops. There we go. The light is all the way forward, which doesn't really help much when we're trying to look at fish in the back there. So here we have the Goiter River Rainbows looking pretty dang good. If you ask me, they came in at a great size. Still got a lot of growing to do and a lot of coloring up to do. Oh, here comes a guy to greet us. Show off his fancy colors. Look at that guy. Another one down here. And then the uh, red-tailed rasboras. Now the red-tailed rasboras, I've been watching for a while this morning and they school really well. They're kind of freaked out right now because the lights just turned on. But normally they're really packed tight together. I'm gonna drop in some fluval bug bites here. See if we can get them to eat. Of course, these are the, the fluval bug bites that I got for $2 on Amazon. How could you pass that up? I feed it to basically everything. I know it says uh, bottom feeders, but it's good for everything. Everything loves this stuff. There's a few nicks and, and scratches on some of these rainbows, but it'll heal pretty quickly. They've been pretty active though, so really happy about these guys. Look at that. Beautiful. Awesome fish. And then uh, next over here, we have the Madagascar rainbows. These are pretty small, but still a decent size to get. You can watch them grow up and color up. All the koi angel fish did well. The one rebounded that was not looking too sweet, but uh, I don't know that I would call these like a premium select koi. Did I call them rainbow fish or angel fish? I don't remember. I guess I'll find out when I'm editing it, but uh, I don't know that I would call them like select or premium, but they're still pretty cool. Hopefully uh, someone will scoop those up. I'm going to mark them down pretty cheap. Well, I think so anyways. I don't honestly don't know what other people sell those for. If they weren't hiding behind the sponge, you can see they're right around three inches. 
Now these guys get beautiful. The Madagascar rainbows, they get some really nice reds. They keep this like long skinny torpedo look. And it's really fun to watch a school of these guys just swimming back and forth. Definitely want a four foot tank for these guys. Really neat fish. Um, fairly inexpensive rainbow fish that I feel like should be more popular. Of course, I kind of feel that way about all rainbow fish, but you can see they're very active, fast swimmers, really fun to watch. Just really great behavior. And then on the next tank over, we have the Corydora Archaeotis. Oh, they were right there. Oh, they all moved in the back. Of course, the Skunk Corydoras and then the Blaheri Rainbow Fish also came in really big. Lighting on this side is pretty terrible though. I definitely need to upgrade the lighting in here to film because it's really dark. You can't really see their colors. But again, they're coming in at three and a half, almost probably four inches to be honest. And uh, they got a lot of coloring up to do still. And these are at that point where they're almost too big to ship. They're gonna be kind of a pain, but uh, look, ooh, there's one kind of colored up in the back there, but see that guy, he's got the uh, little mohawk stripe going. That's what I call it. Ooh, do you see a flash right there? Look at him flashing. Oh man. That is so cool. You can see it. There's another one flashing right there. These guys are ready to go. I should put a spawning mop in here, to be honest. Again, just dropping in some bug bites for them. We'll see. That was really cool to catch them flashing on camera. I rarely ever catch that on camera. That was pretty neat. I definitely need to get better lighting on this tank because this is looking way better in person than on this dim lighted camera. Next up we got all the guppies. Again, the Dumbo ear white and then they're calling them green. And yeah, there's some green in there, but that's pretty, uh, I mean, I don't know. That's like barely, I would call them barely green, more red Dumbo ear guppies. That's what I would call them. <laughs> some green, more red Dumbo ear guppies. I, I realize the body is green, maybe not showing on camera, but it is like a dark kind of, I don't know, puke green. <laughs> They're still pretty cool. There, you can see a green on that guy there. So there you go. Two of them right there showed some green, so we're calling them green. But the uh, the white Dumbo ears, man, these guys are spectacular. Oops. And over here we have very low light settings too, but here you see all of the German blue rams. I just dropped in some bug bites there, just to get them to the front of the tank. Some really nice size on some of these. Mo I mean, all of them are a decent sellable size, but some of them are just like this guy over here. That guy's huge, again, this, this tank. It's like on the tail end of the lighting over here, so not the greatest, again. But definitely a cool fish, and there's a ton of them in here. I'm gonna be doing water changes like every other day on this tank because there's probably about 40 fish in here at this point. And now for what you've all really wanted to see, day two of the Blennies, they're doing well. There's a couple of them out right now, but they also burrow under the shells and under the sponge filter. Yeah, I just cannot get this guy to come into focus. It's trying to there. He's curious what's going on. He's actually stood up to look at us, peeking over his shell there. And then there's a guy like giving us the mean mug eye right there again. Focusing on these guys is hard. I can't say that enough, but I probably say it too much. <laughs> it looks like we got a tail poking out over here from under the filter. So they're so far doing well. I'm gonna drop in some bug bites right now and see if they'll go for it. Uh, it might take a little bit of learning to figure out what these guys are gonna like and what they don't like. All right, let's see if we can get, get them to go after it here. So far, not interested in the slightest. I'm probably gonna have to bust out some frozen and live food for these guys. Now, oh, no, this guy back here just swallowed one. The guy back here just went after and took a pellet. So that's a little reassuring. That guy, honestly, this guy's body is looking really pale. That makes me a little nervous. I'd like to, uh, oh, he's looking at it. What's he gonna do? He's going for it. There he goes, he's going after the uh, pellets. All right, fluval bug bites, that's it. Come on dude, they're right in front of you. 
I got that on camera, but of course I wasn't paying attention to the camera, so it wasn't focused. Hopefully it will still look all right though. All right, everyone, there you have it, the Top Hat Blenny. This fish is so awesome. I love it. I don't know that I'll ever get rid of these six anyways. These are mine. If you want some, let me know down below. And uh, if they do well for me, I'm going to order some in. So I'd like to get an idea maybe of how many I should order. I don't know. But uh, let me know down below. Don't forget to hit the thumbs up button if you liked the video. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit that notification bell, and I will see you all next time.